Damn, Ivan, no go pass, oh. Ivan, no go pass. I'm Ivan, no go pass, oh. No, no. No, I'm Ivan, go pass. Life and the rest. No, 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 no. But I mean, you know, I mean, you don't want to have money. Don't open up for me. I mean, you don't want to have money for Bagada. I mean, you open up for me. You don't want to have money. You don't want to have money. No money. We don't want to have money. Two thousand naira. Me and I talk. We are not even getting it right, sir. Jack on day. Jack on day did extremely well. I got the property at a Papa Road. Good. Jack on day progressive estate at a Papa Road. There, Jack on day, my grandma left it for us. Now, Tinubu should tell us where he left people to live. Good. Jack Conde has done the right thing. He was the one who buy Toyota in 2011. One day for Jack Conde on his birthday. Bridge, bridge. The bro. man did not do. The man, did not the man has done like Tinubu. What are you telling us? He did not Hot do like them he with did the truth, what man. he was meant to do and he left. Godfatherism was end. How can you tell me a 36, 37 years old boy cannot run for councillorship without knowing you? Oh, and you no. have. I did that I did that with Richard Kasumu. He's in us of the house of assembly. Yeah, in Alausa, the Kenya constituency too. He's my mate. I went to CMS, the first secondary school in Nigeria. He went to King's College, and he's my friend in Bariga. You cannot tell me you not brought him. You're, he could not run his mother's school. You call them sis. You say you call. You won't call. Who go come? Why they say you call? You call? You call? Who go come? Police not there to call. Which police? Police may run for 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 where they for shoot gun. I go come. Now? You just say you call them, you call them. Who you call? Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I will make it very short and quick. I just want to show you guys around and show you guys update about the ongoing protests in Nigeria, especially Lagos, where I'm located. Yes, August 4th was the day that was set for Nigerians to protest and speak up their mind about the bad government that has been going on and a lot of hunger, poverty and frauding that is going on in the country. Yes, the citizens has arisen and said enough is enough. We don't want this anymore and you people have to do something or you step down. Ever since Tinubu entered as the president of Nigeria, Nigeria has been going through a lot of hunger, bad things, and also massive poverty. Prices of things are going up, that's to say inflation. Yes, he said he, he was going to remove the fuel subsidy, which he did, and it's just turned bad for Nigerians. Actually, maybe he didn't get the plan right, or he didn't know the way to do it right. But Nigerians are not agree that the money laundry was, or the fuel subsidy was removed. They were all angry that there has been a lot of money being misused, money that we were meant to use to better the country in terms of education and other services like road development. But instead, they choose to use this money to take care of themselves, buy private cars, bulletproof cars, and take their children to school overseas, leaving the people they are meant to serve to suffer and die in poverty. So the Nigerian youth has come up to protest and said enough is enough. We won't let this happen anymore and that is exactly what is going to happen a lot of people has also been saying that why is it that now the nigerian youth are about to speak up yes because they are speaking up because it has held them in the neck right now and something has to be done or something is going to happen to someone i also encourage this protest but i pray and i encourage it becomes a peaceful one because protest in nigeria usually turns out to be in another direction first of all please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so it could reach more people and create engagement thank you